Hi there, Scorpio. Thank you for joining me for your monthly forecast for February. You can find yourself in the early part of this month, particularly the first half, quite focused on your home. Now, if you're someone who likes to be very cosy, or if you're in the southern hemisphere, you love pottering in your garden, these kind of areas can see you very busy, perhaps on a do-it-yourself project, redecorating, spending time hosting other people come into your home, and you can be a marvellous host during this time. But Mars, your co-ruler, also moves at the start of this month, and it moves into your sector of romance. And even if there is someone that you feel quite highly attracted to, I would be very, very wary of pitching into this relationship with too much of an open heart before you really get to know what they're about if it's a new relationship. Because there's a lot of mystery threaded through your horoscope this month. And of course, that can be quite an exciting concept. But the mystery is less fun if someone is always slightly out of reach, a little bit elusive, not really coming up with the goods, suggesting that they're interested in you, and then cancelling the date at the last minute. You can't get hold of them. The phone's turned off. They don't answer their emails. All this kind of stuff can actually be very, very bad for your sense of self. And there can be a lot of it this month if you allow the opportunities to arise. But equally, you may find yourself in a very spiritual frame of mind when it comes to love and the people you care about. And there may be times when you will want to bond with people who understand this about you. So that may mean that you're going to hang out with some more gentle souls this month. And that can be very good, very nurturing, as long as they're the people who understand what you need and it's the right type of thing that they're fulfilling in your needs. If you're with people who are harsh, dismiss you for these kind of needs, then that's going to be much more difficult to deal with. What I would say is that Saturn, the planet of restriction, and your sign now does start to go backwards from the 18th for five and a half months. And there could be a real emphasis here for you to minimise your life, make it as simple as possible. Don't get up, uh, don't have too many things on the go at the, at the same time. It is a case of understanding what's really crucial, limiting your activities down to the things that you have to do only is probably a good piece of advice. Then the sun moves on the 19th and it moves into a great area for you. And in fact, there are going to be times in the latter part of this month and certainly into March when you're really going to be flourishing. What stops this happening almost straight away is Neptune because Neptune is such an ethereal, hard energy to pin down. It is, as I say, something that you think is there. Then when you go to hold it, it's not. And that can be a difficult thing to deal with. So you need to be very grounded, very realistic in your approach to all forms of your situation, whether it's you're being more adventurous in your business situation, you're more risk-taking, or it's around your love life. As much as you can have dreams, and you may hope that they can pay off, you also have to understand that maybe they can't. If you approach life like this, then... I think it could be an intriguing month in lots of ways, and you could end it thinking about life very, very differently to how you started it. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck, and goodbye for now.